Good morning. This is Wayne from the What's Up Wayne channel and every week I'm going to try to put something new on that is of interest to most small woodworking hobbyists uh, who like to build things. And I'm one of those kind of guys that try to build things out of practically nothing and have something that's very usable. So look forward to something every week on the What's Up Wayne channel and I hope to see you again. Well today's project is going to be a real simple uh, mounting device for hooking my uh, video camera to uh, so that I can uh, use it for overhead uh, shots such as using the lathe or uh, working on the table saw. So what I've got in mind is here's a, a small spring clamp. My idea is to then fasten a piece of wood to the side of the clamp and then this clamp can be then clamped onto an overhead uh, garage door rail or something like that. Uh, maybe uh, most anything that you could hook this clamp to. Okay, I'll try to show you what I've got in mind and you might laugh because this is going to be pretty simple. So I've got a few pieces of wood cut out here and we're going to try to come up with a way to swivel this. So what my, I came up with the idea of taking a couple of pieces of wood. This one will be attached to the, the clamp with some screws. And then what my plan is to put a piece of plywood on each side, sort of like this, and then make it so that we can swivel like that with the base. It just so happens that I have a piece of quarter inch ready rod here and it just tap, it's going to work out perfectly for the hinge. So now see we can rotate it to any angle that we want our camera to be pointed and so now the next thing I want to do is I will glue and then uh, probably just brad nail this till the glue dries and then we'll have a have a good fit. Well we've done a couple more things here. Got a piece of quarter inch ready rod going through this hinge so this will rotate and then I put a, a thumb sc screw nut up here on top where I can tighten this up and put, put tension on it so that it's a little friction there that holds it in place. So the next thing <coughs> after, <coughs> excuse me, the next thing after that was that I drilled a hole through this portion of the hinge and I just happened to have uh, a little wing uh, nut affair here that came off of another piece of equipment. And so it was a quarter inch, it fit right on. So this is a little piece of, oh, quarter inch pipe, I guess it is. It's actually something I salvaged somewhere. I put that on there for a little spacer to go in between my uh, camera and the block of wood. That gives it a little more flexibility. So all that's left to do now is to mount this to the clamp. And it's going to be mounted on the back side away from the camera. So that, that's another thing that will give us more flexibility. <clears throat> well, 
Well, there's the completed project. Pretty simple, actually. Now, the next thing to do is to try it out and see how it works. Well, after a little consideration, I decided to go ahead and, and complete this project so that I have the option of rotating around in a circle like this if I need to. Uh, I was going to run into some problems uh, as far as being able to swivel the camera to the right angle that I wanted. So I went ahead and, and built this little swivel device here on the bottom. And what I had to do was uh, I'll epoxy a nut in there in that hole and then uh, threaded the bolt into, a, into the nut and now I have a wing nut down here on the bottom so I can tighten this up and then I can rotate this like so you see. So if I put my camera on this isn't the camera I usually use but I'll use it for demonstration I mount it to the mounting hole in the bottom of the camera and then you see I can rotate the camera around like that to get the right angle and sometimes that's pretty important to be able to do that. Well there's the new and improved version of the mount. You can see the camera mounted there and I can swivel it just about any direction I want to. Uh, got the clamp clamped to the to the rail that the garage door opener slides through and then we've got the swivels made out of wood and then last but not least the camera mounted to the swivel. So I can move the thing around with this swivel or I can rotate it this way to whatever position I need it in and then if I really want to get crazy I can rotate the camera so I've got all kinds of possibilities where I can can rotate that thing around So, once again, this is Wayne signing off with another crazy, wild, outlandish sort of a gizmo. And uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.